Good evening, I'm Rick Tillery. Thanks for joining us. Trish has a night off. Zombie bees are now in southern Oregon. The first case was identified this week. Now a locally known beekeeper is trying to save her hives. News 10's Molly Trotter has details in tonight's top story at 6. The first case of zombie bees identified in southern Oregon this week. Sarah Red Laird is known as the bee girl. She says she knew something was wrong when her bees started acting funny. There's about 20 of them bouncing around my back door on the screen trying to get into presumably the kitchen light as well as really very attracted to the um, my back porch light and I thought oh, <laughs> I think I might have zombie bees. A zombie bee is a honeybee affected by the parasitic forward fly also known as the zombie fly. The female fly lays eggs actually in the body of the honeybee herself and um, so the, there's, it starts as an egg inside the honeybee's body and then it's a larva inside the honeybee's body and then the bee dies and the pupa emerges out of the bee. The whole process causes the bees to act in a way they have never before, buzzing around at night almost like zombies. While it sounds like something out of a Hollywood horror movie, Red Lair says the effects are very real. Well, if you like to eat food, you should care what's going on with our honeybees because bees directly pollinate one third of our food. So one every three bites of, that you eat is pollinated by a honeybee. Covering your news, Molly Trotter, News 10. Red Laird says she plans to do more research on her hives to see if there are more zombie bees. The zombie fly was first discovered by a professor in San Francisco.